Hi everyone, um, have, hope you're having a good evening. This is week six of my uh, post up uh, after the, my, let's see if I can say this right, vertical sleeve gastrectomy. There's a reason why I shorten it to VSG. Um, <laughs> sometimes I get very tongue tied. At any rate, I'm still losing weight, um, not the copious amount of pounds that a lot of people do report. Um, I have been a slow loser and I'm fine with that because it's still in a steady progression. I had already lost um, something like, what, 30, maybe 33 pounds before I um, had my surgery and I feel like there's going to be a slower weight once you've already started losing weight um, ahead of time. Um, as compared to people who are um, maybe waiting right up until the last second to start their liquid diets if, if they have them. And some people don't even have any kind of liquid diet uh, pre-surgery. I've heard some people say that they even go out and stop themselves the night before. I, not for me, guys. <laughs> I can't imagine having stuff myself the night before. I, I'm very glad I did what I did. Um, so... Okay, uh, I have lost somewhere between one and five pounds this week. I don't know exactly which because my scale is wonky. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a, a tanita that, that is supposed to uh, allegedly measure body fat too. I don't know if they do much more than really um, your BMI Based, uh, because you're inputting your date of birth. Um, but, um, you know, it's supposed to measure how much water you have in your body too based on whatever it is, those metal plates are gathering, whatever data is ga gathering from the soles of your feet. I'm skeptical, and today I can see why I was skeptical. Um at one point it said I had 30% body fat and another point it said I had 40% body fat. Don't think there's going to be a 10% shift in body fat between one meal to the next. So it got me questioning about my weight and um, I, given that at my doctor's office the other day, my weight uh, after meals, after with clothes on and shoes on, um, my weight there was less than it is here, naked first thing in the morning. So I have to think my scale is, is screwy. Uh, I changed the batteries. Um, it still seems to be screwy. But you know what? I'm not going to buy a new scale. I am, you know, I'm going to see that as one more tool that I can use to not be scale crazy, which I really don't want to be. I want to go more on how I feel, number one, um, how my health is doing, um, how many inches lost, how fit I'm getting, uh, whether I'm meeting my fitness goals. Uh, those are the things that are important to me. And as you'll see in my um, goal setting videos, what I'm really all about in that direction. Um, I'm eating just about anything that I would want to eat, but maybe what I would want to eat is different from what uh, the proverbial average person, whoever you are, <laughs> um, in that I am gluten-free uh, still. I've been gluten-free now for um, eight months, so that is, if I do the math, six and a half months um, prior to surgery, I was gluten-free. I remain that. Um, Dairy-free some of the time. Uh, I'm going to go back to being dairy-free in the next um, week or two because I just don't feel well with, with dairy. I had added it back to get enough protein in, but I'm going to find other ways. Um, but, so having said that, what am I eating? Uh, well, what I'm also not eating are raw foods, uh, raw uh, vegetables or fruits other than uh, oranges and bananas on the fruit side. Um, no raw vegetables at all. I don't didn't digest them well before. I'm not going to tempt fate and try to digest it now either. Um, so I eat a lot of sashimi, which I adore. 
um, and go and get sushi grade fish at the market and come home and slice it thin. Um, eat it all week long. Love it. Um, eat some chicken from time to time as my protein. I have eggs and Canadian bacon for breakfast um, fairly often. Um, eggs, not plural, egg. And um, have had some cheese, but it's going to go back out of my diet during my dairy-free phase again. Um, exercise is going well. I'll talk about that on Fitness Friday. Uh, therapy sessions. Uh, I have my had my second one today um, to talk over issues of why I put on weight in the first place so that I can hopefully cope with uh, maintenance. Um, I'm dealing with that way before maintenance because I really feel like uh, I'm going to have a struggle with it. I'm going to have a struggle uh, in, the pa in the last few pounds too psychologically and there's reasons for that which I'll go into on separate videos um, having to do with therapy. Okay, um, I think I've touched on those things. Oh, yeah. I guess the other thing that's unusual is that I'm six weeks out, as I said, and I'm still not back at work. I have not been cleared by my primary care physician because I've been so tired, um, so dizzy, um, and sometimes a little bit dazed and confused. Um, I don't know. Um, I think that with the weight loss, first of all, I think there was an issue with some of the meds I was on. I'm now down to one med left, um, and that is an antidepressant, and uh, we'll, we'll probably be tweaking the dosage on that as well, lowering it. Uh, but everything else uh, is gone. Um, I'm still taking vitamins. Um, my blood work came back stellar, so I... You know, not concerned about my diet or my vitamin intake, doing fine. Um, I don't use bariatric vitamins. I just, you know, have, um, I, I've had chewable vitamins. There's, I'm still working on getting rid of those. I guess I bought a little too many of those. I'm looking forward to going back to regular vitamins and not having the sugar calories uh, that are in the gummy stuff. Ugh. Why do people like it? Anyway, I just cut to me, it, it's... Yeah, it tastes good, but I think it feeds into that desire for some of the foods that I don't think I personally need. Um, so uh, I'm looking forward to getting off of that. So that's basically it. Um, I hope to go back to work next week and be cleared for surgery, uh, for surgery, gosh, for work um, next week. And um, I that's it for tonight, other than to say thank you so much to subscribers and people who are watching these videos. Um, I really appreciate it. It's nice knowing that I'm not just talking to air, um, although some of my videos have had like all of four people watch them, so I think I'm boring you all. I definitely need to work on shorter videos, but anyway, I do thank you so much, and uh, I look forward to seeing your videos too. I do watch them, and uh, thank you, and you have a good evening.